Laptops are the most popular type of personal computer, and it's not hard to see why. It's one simple, portable package that does the job for most people. However, one major sacrifice you have to make compared to a desktop is upgradability. Does that mean you can't upgrade a laptop at all? No. However, upgrading an old laptop may not be worth the cost and effort, depending on what you need it to do. Generally, there are two components that can be upgraded or replaced in a typical laptop. The first is RAM or random access memory. This is the fast memory that the computer uses to store information from currently running software. The more RAM you have, the more applications you can run or browser tabs you can open without needing to resort to the slow hard drive storage. Speaking of which, the other component that can usually be upgraded in a typical laptop is the hard drive. Most laptops have a 2.5 inch drive bay, but more recent models now come with an NVMe slot for NVMe format solid state drives. Swapping out the existing drive for a large one grants you the obvious benefit of more storage. One of the best ways to breathe new life into an old laptop is by exchanging its mechanical hard drive for a solid state model. This will immediately make the general experience of using the computer much more snappy and pleasant. There are cases where the hard drive, RAM or both cannot be upgraded or removed at all. This is mostly true for Ultrabook class laptops such as the M1 MacBook Pro. The RAM and SSD are integrated into the motherboard, so you're stuck with whichever model you bought at the outset. What about stuff that can't be upgraded? The most important general performance component in your laptop is the CPU or central processing unit. This is the brain of the computer and performs general purpose number crunching. On a desktop system, the CPU is connected to the motherboard using a socket system. This makes it easy to swap it out for a better model. Typically, laptops don't use this method. Instead, the CPU is soldered permanently to the motherboard. Sadly, the same is usually true of the GPU or graphical processing unit. It's either integrated into the CPU or also soldered directly to the motherboard. This is the component that determines much of your performance in 3D applications and can also help in other applications that don't use 3D graphics. For example, video editors, which often use the GPU to accelerate video encoding. While it's true that typical laptops don't let you upgrade the CPU or GPU, there are exceptions. Some workstation class laptops actually use a socketed desktop CPU. That means it's possible to upgrade the model of chip it's shipped with. This is however incredibly rare, but it's not unheard of. When it comes to upgrading the internal GPU of a laptop, some models have a solution. It's known as the Mobile PCI Express Module, or MXM and a few high-end laptops do make use of it. It's essentially a mini removable graphics card that can be exchanged for better models. While uncommon, it's worth checking out if your laptop supports MXM. Although, be prepared to pay a steep price since MXM versions of GPUs can carry a huge price tag. If you're lucky enough to have a laptop with a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C connection, you can actually connect an external GPU to the device and take advantage of desktop class graphics. While you still need to confirm that your particular laptop model supports external GPUs, it's a fantastic way to get access to a better GPU without having to buy an entire new laptop. The main downside of these enclosures are that they need to be connected to mains power and are portable rather than mobile. However, if you only need to do basic tasks on the go and want to do heavy 3D graphics such as gaming when back at your desk, it's a great option. Now that you know what sort of upgrades may be possible for your laptop, the next question is whether these upgrades are worth it. If you're in the lucky position where you can actually upgrade the CPU or GPU in your laptop, it's certainly worth it from a performance perspective. Upgrading these components can add years to a laptop's life, but they may also have an impact on heat and battery life. Not to mention that actually installing these upgrades might involve extensive disassembly of your computer. You should also weigh up the cost of these components, as they can be so expensive that it might be better financially just to buy a new computer. When it comes to RAM or hard drive upgrades, it's complicated. If your lack of performance is tied specifically to the CPU or GPU, then upgrading your RAM isn't going to do anything. If you're actually running out of memory doing something, then adding more RAM will be a good solution to increase performance. 
If your laptop has very little RAM, four gigabytes or less, then upgrading will let modern operating systems such as Windows 10 run properly. When it comes to hard drive upgrades, we will always recommend changing out a mechanical hard drive for a solid state model. At least when it comes to the system drive with the operating system and main applications on it. SSDs make older laptops feel modern and snappy for everyday tasks such as browsing the web. Combined with a RAM upgrade, an SSD can relieve bottlenecks on the CPU as well, letting it run at its maximum potential. And that's all you need to know about upgrading an old laptop. See you next time.